Our thoughts and our prayers are, of course, going out to everyone who is currently on the southwest coast of Florida. It is now 10 minutes of 10 Eastern Time. I am currently in Palm Coast, Florida, which is way up on the northeast coast, just north of Daytona Beach. We're getting some bands of rain and wind. Um, The power has flickered a couple of times, but that's normal even during a thunderstorm. It looks like it's more than likely going to make landfall as possibly a Cat 5, because they're saying it's just short of that right now. Hurricane Ian, of course, we're speaking of. Now, many people over the last few days have come to me and said, Florida Maki, a few days ago, you said that this was all psychological operation. Well, four days ago, what they were doing was. Because only one of two things could have been true four days ago. Either they didn't know what was going to happen, and they were guessing and just trying to scare everyone to drive, of course, everybody to the store, to buy things, and of course, to keep people tuned in to drive up their ad rate. Or they did know, and they didn't tell the people who were in the direct line of fire, specifically, trying to hide the fact that they did. Those are the only two things that could possibly be true. Because four days ago, it was just a tropical storm way south of Cuba over the Cayman Islands. Besides, on this particular platform, there's a brand new set of rules that doesn't apply to the government and the MSM. You see, when the government and the MSM comes out, says stuff like they were saying four days ago, and if they had turned out to be wrong... Well, you see, they're forgiven. Well, they were just trying to protect people, and we should always listen to the authorities and do everything they say and take their word as the gospel truth. Isn't that true? Because we know, of course, if things don't go right for them, they can just snap their fingers and cause the Mandela effect and change things to the way that they think it should be. See, these are YouTube rules. There's one rule for the MSM, and the government. And there's another rule for any YouTuber that says anything. A YouTuber says something and it doesn't turn out to be true. Of course, you stand, point fingers, and laugh and say, ha, 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 which isn't what I was saying at all. What I was saying was that they were taking advantage of a situation. And if anybody had watched the videos, they would know clearly that I said, well, no matter what the storm does, based on the YouTube Bible, which is, of course, the most important Bible to know the rules of. Just blame Harp. They can steer hurricanes, weather modification. Clouds aren't real. Do you know why they make white, fluffy clouds? So that you stare up at them for long periods of time so that the satellites can look down into your eyes and get your retina patterns so they can identify you. Yep, that's the, that's the story. See, there's a YouTube Bible uh, tenet for any possible outcome of anything, no matter what. See, this was 25 September, uh, Fox CNN now pushing fake make-believe hurricane warnings and scaring people into buying garbage, of course, all the pictures, and you can go watch the video, it's up. We're from Delray Beach. Well, the storm is already north of Delray Beach, just on the other side of the state. In fact, I would say that we're probably getting worse weather here, way up in Palm Coast, than they're getting there. They're forecasting 25 inches of rain for Palm Coast. And then, of course, the next day I did another video. said entire peninsula of Florida washed away, unprecedented natural disaster, now seemingly unavoidable. See, it's only one of two things can be true. Either they knew or they didn't. Either they knew and they warned the wrong people, Or they didn't, and they were guessing. And they just got it right. Either way, it highlights the two different sets of rules. One that applies to you and me, because everyone is so afraid of being wrong, we don't speak. See, we are fear-shamed into speaking. If we think, oh, we might be wrong. But of course, the government can say anything, anytime. MSM can say anything, anytime. And they're, of course, just having our best interest at heart. No matter what, especially 2020 taught us this, didn't it? They say, go line up and uh, allow this thing into your body through an injection. You do it. You do it. 
Because if they're wrong, well, they had the best intentions in mind. They just wanted to protect everybody. We have to forgive them. We have to forgive them. Even though they aren't warning anybody about the billions of tons of poison in Florida right now that could get spread over the entire state. The phosphogypsum stacks could overflow. Two feet of rain would do it. Two feet of rain would absolutely do it. Mountains of waste menace Florida's Swiss cheese aquifers. This is what they were talking about back in 21 when they were trying to uh, catch the governor on the mismanagement of Piney Point. Even though he had nothing to do with the mismanagement of Piney Point, the greater argument was why do we have giant stacks of poison all over Florida? 70%, excuse me, I guess we lost that video. 70% of the phosphogypsum in the United States is in Florida. Currently about 1 billion tons of phosphogypsum stacked in 24 stacks in Florida. And about 30 million new tons are generated each year. Legal necessity, US EPA. So, but nobody of course is talking about that. Nobody's talking about this. I suppose they'll talk about it in the coming days, perhaps. Who knows? Who knows? But, you know, this channel goes down or I lose power. Trackthetropics.com. Trackthetropics.com has a specific page for everything going on. And, of course, you just find Hurricane Ian, and you go to that page, and they have all of the, the NOAA floaters, all of the different radar images and loops and where it's going to go. It's basically a foregone conclusion at this point. Um, but like I said, I don't regret anything. Not one thing. Because they've, they've done this time after time after time. And no matter what they say, no matter what they do, no matter how right or how wrong, they will always get the pass, always get the forgiveness, because, of course, they, you know, they just care about everyone. They just want what's best for you. So automatically believe government, automatically believe the MSM. And, oh, by the way, if anybody on YouTube says anything that's even moderately, possibly could be construed as inaccurate, make sure you, you shame them into never speaking again. That's the rule. That's the rule. You see, you have to force them into uh, the idea. Well, it wasn't that way in my memory. Yeah, in my memory, it was a completely different hurricane at a completely different time, and it's the Mandela effect, and, and you can't challenge that. And besides, even if it wasn't, it's still harp. Mandela effect and harp, you know. Excuse confirmed. Whatever you want to call it, so... Anyway, but of course, in reality, pray for everyone out there and uh, keep them in your thoughts and prayers because it's, it's getting pretty ugly uh, looking at everything that's happening as I uh, am speaking to you right now. The governor just went live and he's, uh, I don't have it turned up right now and I don't have closed caption on, but like I said, depending on whether power goes in or out or if my ability to Upload gets compromised one way or the other because of these issues. It is now 10 o'clock, roughly Eastern Time. And the governor has just begun speaking, so I think I'm going to probably cut this video a little bit short and hear what the man has to say. If it's anything that uh, bears repeating again, I will, of course, uh, join you guys. I do have a generator here, so um, I suppose there probably wouldn't be any major issue getting power back up it would be more the idea of uh the signal getting through because they're saying in the next 24 hours you know go through the center part of the state the uh very 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 heavy rains and that's really a much bigger deal than the wind or um of course over on this side i don't think we're going to have much issue from an ocean but they have had actually people here in my county flagler county that are east of 95 which is basically flagler beach um they've asked them to evacuate over on the Atlantic side. So I'm not sure how many people are going to, but, you know, we'll see. Anyway, um, God bless everyone who's out there. Once again, thoughts and prayers. Thoughts and prayers. You know, taking it seriously. You know, let's uh, 
Hope everyone can get back to wherever their home was, get things stood back up as quickly as possible. And in a couple weeks, we can be talking about the midterms and, you know, what happened when and whether this is the result of uh, your grandfather's uh, big truck or SUV belching out all those uh, greenhouse gases causing climate change and global warming. And that's why we have hurricanes. Of course, you're supposed to trust that too, didn't you know? God bless. Like, share, subscribe. We'll see, see you guys next time.